Hello everybody, Sacred Rex here, and today we're wrapping up with part 3 of the Queen's Unimorph. So here she is, and here's the teeth. Now we're going to put the teeth in um, before we paint, just because it's going to be really difficult to get the teeth in afterwards, so the teeth will go in first. So these are, this is the, this is, eh, this is the top row, it's going to curve around, so it curves around there, so that's the top. Two smaller ones here, cover them in Elmer's glue before you put them in. We'll be using hot glue in there. I also have cut out these new spike pieces. Um, just a little flare and they're gonna and that I cut out this little section. And then it's gonna be hot glue together like this and then attached in like so around there just to give a little more flare. And um, then we're also gonna get the spikes finished and yeah, so hope you enjoy part three. So let's not waste any more time and let's begin.
okay, I can't show this on camera, so I'm just going to take what I'm going to do, because I can't fiddle, I'd fiddle with this really close, so I'm just going to show you what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be taking this, and I'm going to be attaching it to the bottom of the mouth here, and applying Elmer's glue to attach it to the inner side, and I'm going to be fiddling with it, and it's quite difficult to get in there, which again, why I'm not going to be showing me putting that in, but um, that's hopefully... um helps you with getting that in there, all right? So there you go, and I'll get that in there now. Future me, um, these are the original spikes for this part that I was making these spikes for, um, and these turned out not to be that great. Um, and you can kind of get a little sneak peek of how she's going to look all finished right now. So these originally were attached here like so, and these didn't look all that great. So I remade them, and just showing you what quickly I did here. So you can copy that. Pretty simple. And these are going to attach pretty much in the same spot, like so. Probably be moved out so the circle shows right there. But um, yeah, kind of get an idea of how these are going to look. And they look a lot better. Alright, so I'm going to get these attached. And um, yep, hope you enjoyed the rest of the build. So, on with the video.
Okay, so at this point she's ready to be painted. Um, before we start doing that, make sure that she's completely covered in Elmer's glue. Everything's been sealed up. Any holes, any little excess hot glue removed. You just make sure she's as good as you want her to be um, before we start painting. And quickly, before we get to that, um, I've took my X-Acto blade and gone over some of these details. I've cut them out like this, just to these little lines. Um, Hopefully, I did that in the hopes that when I do spray paint her, she's just going to be black with a um, gray dry brush on her to bring some of this detail out. So hopefully with these cuts on the lines around her with the Intacto Blade that I didn't make through these, you know, bigger details. Hopefully the paint will um, bring out that detail just a little bit to um, hopefully that detail we'll be able to see, see still. All right. All right. So that's just one to point out in case you want to do a little more added detail. Just, you know, take your Intacto Blade and cut along the drawn lines and cut those in and maybe that will give you a little more detail when we paint it so we don't lose some of this detail that's on her. Alright, so now, without further ado, let's get her painted! She is all finished in her amazing glory. So first, I'm going to show uh, show um, her size comparison with my bold Zeno to kind of give an idea of size between the two. There you go. Um, just for uh, size accuracy, I guess you can see she's about 18 inches long, and she stands about seven inches tall. So she's pretty good in size. Um, I did go over her with a dry brush. I'm not sure you could really see that during the um, dry brush part of the video, but um, it's a very, very little bit of a dry brush. Um, I don't know how well you'll be able to see it on her, but we'll s I'll see if you can't tell. Um, I don't know if you can see it at all, but it's a very, very light, it's a very dark um, gray dry brush that I did on her. It, it's So she's not so she's not 100% black. It's a little bit of a gray coat on her to kind of just give a little more detail to her overall look. Again, not sure if you can see that very well. I mean, even I can't see it all that well. It's just very little bit um, there all over her. Um, so for articulation on her, I did give her the arms, which are pretty cool. They have got a little bit loose um, while I've been working on her, but they work fine. She does have an articulated jaw. And the best part, which is I think is really cool, is she's got a retractable tongue mouth thing, which is really cool. This was a feature um, I was thinking about doing, and uh, it's it pretty much at the point where I almost had her completely closed up here. I was like, ah, you know what, I'm doing all this detail on her. Might as well give her the tongue. This room, this space, so I give her the tongue. Um, I can close the mouth entirely with the tongue in there. I just don't want to, just because the tongue does shoot up straight and get stuck behind her teeth and I had to use little tweezers to pull the tongue back out. The only other little issue with the tongue which I will be fixing in later builds is back here. It does have the stop point so the tongue moves forward and stops at a certain point because of that piece. Though there's nothing in farther back to stop the tongue falling to the throat. So there have been times when I've been working on her and the tongue gets almost out of the little socket and I've had to be very careful to get the tongue back out. So that's why I'm leaving the tongue out as it is. Now the teeth are nicely white right there. You know, they look pretty good. And I think she's turned out pretty nice. She looks really good. You know, give her a full look at her from the front. Nice crest. Her spikes turned out really nicely. Her nice crown has turned out very, very nice. Um, here's her tail in all its glory. She unfortunately doesn't stand on her own. 
Um, she kind of needs a little bit of help to stand. Um, maybe I can get her to stand on her own. Let's let's see. A little bit more. Oh, oh, she's sort of standing by herself. Uh, oh, look at that! Look at that, I got her to stand. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> on carpet, I can get her to stand. But definitely not on solid surfaces. But that's pretty sweet. Um, so that has been the queen. I um, hope you enjoyed this build. It's been pretty fun to make her. And um, really enjoyed building her. She was really fun to do. And um, <clears throat> hope you enjoyed part three. And I'll see you on the next video. Until have a great day. And bye, everybody.